What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video. Hope you guys are having a great day. I know I am. Today I've got a story time for you guys about the time this kid at my roommate's school tried to fight him and unironically thought that he had the force to use in battle. So uh, yeah, be sure to press the like button before we get into it because I think you guys will. And if you don't, no joke, no scam. You'll be visited tonight by Darth Maul and he will cut you in half much like the way he was at the end of The Phantom Menace. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So today's story time is actually from one of my roommates. He told me about this kid who he went to school with that he got in a fight with who actually thought he had the force like a Jedi. And honestly, that sounds pretty insane, but what's even crazier, dude, is that my roommate started telling me that this kid would go around bullying people, which is pretty ballsy. Like, when you're the kid in high school who thinks he's a Jedi and is running around talking about how you have to save the Jedi Order, and also have the confidence to be telling other people that they're weird, you know? That's just kind of a weird oxymoron. Usually the kid who thinks that he knows karate and also has the force is the one being picked on, but this kid would like run around messing with people. And it really goes to show how lame the rest of this kids had the school had to be if they were going to be running around getting bullied by a kid who thinks he's living in like a fan fiction version of the prequel trilogy. Anyways, I'm going to call this kid Darth Dumpy Pants just because I think that's pretty fitting, you know, and uh, my roommate ended up having a class with this kid Darth Dumpy Pants. And for whatever reason the teacher was one of those that was like afraid to actually do anything so he would just let Darth Dumpy Pants be super disruptive and nothing actually got done in class like at one point in the year dude Darth Dumpy Pants got up on his desk and started trying to like force choke people and for some reason people started to like you know play along with it instead of asking him to stop so this kid who already thinks he has the force is now having this delusion fed by like kids in his class who think it's funny when he interrupts so they're pretty pretending that he's allowed to force choke them. And at that point, he was already a little bit out of control, but once he thinks that he can, like, force choke people, he gets even worse, dude. And you gotta imagine how annoying it is, man. Like, imagine this guy running around bullying everybody. He would go up to girls and call them ugly. He was known for, like, picking on fat kids. He was just a big jerk to everybody, and then when he would do stuff like this, everybody thought it was funny to play along, and it just, like, wasn't funny to the people he was messing with, you know? Like, yeah, if he wasn't picking on you it was probably really funny to watch but if you were the person he was going around trying to use the force to make skinny it probably didn't feel too good you know and it's just not very cool to be that guy like Darth Dumpy Pants was definitely living up to the Darth in his name like <laughs> he was the evil villain in the story at the school he would pick on everybody Anyways, one day in class, my friend is sitting there doing his homework, and for some reason, Darth Dumpy Pants was kind of just, like, going around the class picking on people, trying to start an argument and fight with somebody for whatever reason. Sometimes bullies just do that. And my roommate back in the day was a little bit of a bigger guy, and for whatever reason, Darth Dumpy Pants decides that he's gonna start picking on him, and he hits him with an insult that would probably make anybody pretty pissed off if they was said to them. Darth Dumpy Pants says that, like, I'm surprised your desk can hold all that weight that you have when you're sitting on it. And that's just pretty uncalled for, dude, especially when you're the kid who unironically thinks he's a Jedi Knight. Like, before you go around hurling insults, you kinda have to take a look in the mirror, and you have have no room to be talking trash about anybody and even then that's not the Jedi way I don't remember the part where the Jedi were like ah yes fat shaming is the way to go just run around smacking Twinkies out of kids hands that's the Jedi order way it's just, like, not cool, especially out of nowhere, man. Like, he was just sitting there, and Darth Dumpy Pants was looking to mess with somebody. So my friend decides that he's not gonna let that one slide. Like, he was already in a mood, and he's pretty pissed off. And I'm gonna be honest, if somebody said something like that to you, you pretty much have every right, in my opinion, to get pissed off and, like, stand up to them. So my friend gets up and gets right up in Darth Dumpy Pants' face, and the dude is just smiling and trash-talking my friend, saying that he can't do anything even if he wanted to 
too because like he's a jedi and he'll just use the force on him i really don't think this kid was aware of the fact that he didn't have the force that's what my roommate told me like when he got up in his face he genuinely was like haha you can't do anything i have the force because the rest of the school had like played along with it and would pretend to get force choked by him so this kid unironically was like ha even if you wanted to fight me for calling you fat you can't so at this point my friend decides to just like shove him to show him that like no i can touch you the force isn't gonna protect you so he just pushes him and once he shoves darth dumpy pants instead of being like oh this isn't real the force isn't real he jumps back and is like big mistake which is not the case dude when you get shoved and start screaming big mistake like you're in an anime that's how i know that what i just did actually was not a big mistake ha you think you can thwart me think again peasant like dude you're the one acting like you're in the middle of hunter x hunter right now i'm pretty sure the fight is gonna be okay and that's when darth dumpy pants begins to reach ultimate cringe form dude like already saying big mistake and thinking that you have the force is pretty cringe but my friend shoves him and instead of like shoving him back or actually trying to fight darth dumpy pants decides it's time to actually bust out the force so he reaches out his hand and he says hi i'm gonna interrupt the video for a second on screen is a playstation gift card uh, i give one away every day as just a way to say thank you to everybody who subscribed and has notifications on because whoever gets it gets it if you're not subscribed you should it's free you have nothing to lose and i literally give away free money every video so uh you know why not real talk though i really would appreciate you subscribing turning on notifications apparently 80 percent of you are not subscribed so if you're not just press the button you got nothing to lose and thank you to everyone who is sub and also take a look at what's on your screen oh my gosh if this isn't the coolest youtube merch you've ever seen i don't know what is this will make you have the force guys no joke I i'm 100 percent not serious but you should still get it because it's very cool looking how do you like this and he's like doing the force choking motion dude and he says it again he like strains even harder how do you like that force choke huh how do you like that and my friend is just standing there and he's like what 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 are you talking about dude the feeling of what not being phased at all because force choking isn't real sorry to all you dad girls that have daddy issues out there but like if your e-boy says that he can force choke you he is capping i hate to break it to you but dragon wolf lover on discord probably is not telling the truth about being a vampire so my friend tells him he's like force choking isn't real dude you can't choke me and he just shoves darth dumpy pants again because at this point he's annoyed dude like not only is this guy gonna bully you and call you fat but that he's gonna pretend that he has the ability to force choke you when you finally have had enough i'm not saying violence is ever the answer but i can understand how the frustration might get you to this point like after this kid just picking on you constantly after all the time of him doing this and finally he's like trying to stand up for himself you know and he's like oh i'm gonna force choke you i can get why that would probably get under your skin i'm also biased because it's my friend i'll keep it a buck and when darth dumpy pants gets shoved again his eyes get all wide and he's like what N no one should be able to escape a force choke that th that's impossible this dude is seriously like flabbergasted that he doesn't have the ability to be force choking people in real life like his brain cannot come comprehend the fact that he tried to force choke my friends and it didn't work like he genuinely is sitting there looking so confused just huh how, how is this even possible so at this point my friend is like knock it off you wanted to call me fat let's go like stop trying to use your force moves and fight me like you want to go around hurling insults this is what happens eventually someone's gonna try to fight you like let's go you think it's funny let's fight and he's saying let's fight but darth dumpy pants is still having there having his brain melted by the fact that like someone just somehow managed to avoid his choking ability and finally like he decides to start talking again but instead of like saying no to the fight or you know deciding to fight him Darth dumpy pants just start accusing my friend of like cheating and somehow bypassing the rules but this isn't a video game dude like you can't get an aimbot in real life that's not how it works like what do you mean dude you're cheating Th this isn't a role play game you tried to force choke him and he pushed you like wh what do you mean cheating you wanted him to like play by the rules and pretend to get force choked when you were calling him fat and bullying him I, I don't think that's how the 411 goes down dude but he's genuinely like accusing my friend of cheating this dude unironically thinks that anyone who avoids the force has like IRL wall hacks and he's impervious to anyone trying to force hack him because of it like I 
wish that was a superpower. You know how many more younglings probably would have made it if there was like a way to resist force choking? Yeah, we all don't like to talk about that scene, but Anakin was kind of a douche for that one. Can we agree? But before it can get worse, dude, the teacher gets between them and breaks it up, which uh, honestly is probably a good idea. I think the force kid had probably embarrassed himself enough at this point. I really don't know how your street cred can get saved once you've kind of uh, ah, screamed about somebody cheating in real life after you tried to force choke them. Yeah, that's probably pretty hard to come back. Anyways, the force kid is still asking my friend like how he managed to avoid his force choke, even though we all know that it's just not real. It's really easy to avoid something that doesn't exist. You don't really have to do too much. So at this point, for some reason, everybody that before was just like totally okay with letting this kid bully them. The idea pops into their head that they probably shouldn't let a dude who thinks he's a Jedi bully them. Like it took somebody standing up for them to them to realize like, oh, this is ridiculous. Yeah, we definitely, definitely shouldn't be getting pushed around by the Jedi, which blows my mind that it took this long for them to realize that. Like, oh, it took you guys a couple months and somebody fighting him to realize that Jedi powers aren't real and the bully doesn't have them. Like, oh, what type of education system you got running here? Sometimes we look back at like the Salem witch trial and people are like, how did that happen? And then you hear a story like this and you're like, oh no, yeah, people believe that kids in their school that bully them are Jedis. That's how the Salem witch trial happens. People like that exist. Not exactly the same thing, but you know, apples to oranges. They're both fruit. We can compare them as little Dickie once said. Regardless, apparently after that, my roommate told me that school became a lot more enjoyable because Darth Dumpy Pants didn't have as much power but it didn't stop him from trying to get revenge. If you guys want a sequel to this, I don't know. Let's say if this video gets, uh, I'll set a crazy goal, 30,000 likes, I will do the, the Darth Dumpy Pants saga. It's a pretty long story, so I know the like goal is insane, but the idea of recording like a 45 minute video is just nuts. But 30,000 likes and I'll do it, guys. Other than that, that's gonna do it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did and you want more content, I do have a podcast called The Scuff Cast. I'll put a link down below. Or you can follow me on TikTok, which is at Scrubby Stories. As I've said, the Ha Ha merch link is down below as well. Feel free to pick that up. And if you're gonna get yourself some G Fuel, the energy drink for gamers, you know, use code Scrubby, you'll get a little bit of money off and it does help me out and I would appreciate it. Last but certainly not least, other than that, the Instagram is just at Scrubby. Twitter is at Scrubby underscore 69. So follow me on those if you want more swagtastic funny stuff. And uh, yeah, on that note, don't get anyone pregnant. If you do, make sure they're hot and hopefully I'll see you guys next time with another video. I'm out. Peace.